So I want you all to make a new project and make a new event. So go file, new project. Okay, you don't need a theme, so you can just click OK. Oh yeah, name it um, interview. And then do a new event. Okay, projects in iMovie projects are the video you're editing. Events are the the capture, like all the clips you capture or import. So name this just interview. Okay. You won't actually import. I'm just going to show you how. You would click on the camera right here. For some of this, you this might be new. Others, you know how to do this. But you click on the camera, and it's going to open up our camera. So I don't know why this is taking so long, but it's it's looking at the camera. Okay, this is called importing while we're waiting for this. If I ever say import this onto your computer, this is how you do it. So anytime you go shoot something, you've got to import it then through iMovie to your computer. All right, when you click the camera, it's going to pull up this screen and it's going to show you all the clips that are on your, on your camera. Okay, if you have it turned to automatic, then that will import everything. So typically we want to choose manual because that will let us hand select what, we, what clips we import. Notice how all of them are selected. If I just click uncheck all, that will unselect them. You guys can go ahead and try clicking on camera just to see. It'll tell you there's no camera attached, but this is how you would do it if you had a camera hooked up. Uncheck all. Come on. It like won't let me. There we go. Okay, uncheck all. Now they're deselected. Now we're going to check Annette's interview. That's the one we'll import. All right, so I select those two and I click import checked. Okay, what event do I want to import it to? I want to import it into my interview one. Make sure right here where it says optimize video, sometimes it'll say large. We typically want to import it full quality. So you want to make sure you choose full original size, then click import. It's now going to import my clips. When it's done, we'll start editing them, but we're going to use Premiere to do the editing.